Danny Green became known as Cleveland's Celtic warrior in the 1970s when he waged war on the Italians known as the Mayfield Road Mob. One by one, Danny destroyed every mafia hitman that came after him. In his quest for power, he went from union president to FBI informant to leader of the Celtic Club, Cleveland's Irish Mob. When he was finally killed by a car bomb in 1977, the trial of Danny's assassins brought Cleveland's La Cosa Nostra to its knees. In death, Danny succeeded in his life's work. He brought down the mob. Whoever wants to come after me, uh, we're over here by the Celtic Club. I'm not hard to find. everything and he didn't care who he hurt or what he hurt he wanted to take over the rackets labor racketeering gambling uh, vending machines he worked under the uh, auspices of the fbi he got away with a lot of things including murder because the fbi protected him the house was blown up and he got out and dusted himself off and walked away uh, he had nine lives danny green physically if he were in a fight or if he was going to get you you were going to die they tried a number of times to kill him and, he, and, and it didn't happen. So I guess he thought he was invincible. He was in the news before he was killed. He was in the news when he was killed. And he's still in the news. He has a mark in history forever. Italians always thought they were better than we were. He hated them. And they knew that they were the ones that he had to protect everybody from. They were taking over everything. And Danny felt the Irish had to overcome. And his way was going to be a better way. I'm going to tell you that exactly how this happened, almost un unbelievable.